minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, the statue of Ronald Reagan could not possibly be arriving here at the United States Capitol at a more appropriate time in the history of our nation. In these difficult days, we need to remind ourselves as a nation what it was like when it truly was morning again in America. They say it's always darkest before the dawn, and uh, Ronald Reagan took office at a far more difficult time than the one we're having right now. Uh, we tend to forget double-digit unemployment, double-digit inflation, interest rates above 20 percent, mile-long lines around gas stations, American embassies seized with impunity, an American military so weak it couldn't mount a simple rescue mission. The arrival of this statue and all that it represents is a potent reminder that when our nation has drifted off course, we have always found our way back to those grand and uniquely American principles of individual rights, personal responsibility, limited government, and free enterprise that define us as a people. It's true, Ronald Reagan was a great communicator, but as William Saraceno has said, Reagan wasn't communicating cookie recipes. He was communicating the self-evident truths of the American tradition. And those truths resonated throughout the nation and ultimately produced that bright moment when we realized that it indeed was morning again in America. May this statue of Ronald Reagan remain here always as a promise that America's greatest days still lie ahead and that her founding principles will always shine as a bright beacon toward a safe harbor in the stormy tempests we have encountered and that we have yet to encounter. Yield back the General of Pennsylvania, time. continue to reserve his time. Yes. General from California. Uh, Mr. Speaker, may I uh, inquire how much time is remaining?